I'm Ellis Pretlow. I'm an attorney at Kaufman & Knowles here in Norfolk. Women have always been a huge part of philanthropic giving. One of the foundation's first real women philanthropists who was able to give a gift through her will was Florence Smith. She was the daughter of a Civil War surgeon, and when she passed away in the 50s, she left a bequest of around $500,000 to the Hampton Roads Community Foundation, and in fact has funded about $2.5 million worth of scholarships for doctors in our area over the past 70 years. I am a member um, here at the foundation of the Professional Advisors Committee, which is a group of different types of professional advisors, attorneys, CPAs, investment advisors, who have a direct impact with clients and philanthropy. In addition, I'm also a giver to the foundation. I'm a member of the Community Leadership Partners, one of the giving circles here at the Community Foundation. I serve on the boards for several of the organizations that the Community Foundation gives grants to, including, most importantly, um, and special to my heart, the Girl Scout Council of the Colonial Coast. And my grandmother was actually the president of the first council here in Hampton Roads for Girl Scouts. And so for me, it was an obvious place to get involved and kind of follow her legacy. So my earliest memory of giving is actually related to my mom. She makes a very famous dessert, which is called Tipsy Cake. And every Christmas, a lot of her friends would hire her to make these Tipsy Cakes for them because they thought hers was the best. And every year she would take in their funds to pay for them and then she would make an anonymous donation to the Joy Fund, which was a fund that directly went to help impoverished youth. And so every year in the Suffolk News Herald, we would see the Tipsy Cake listed in the Joy Fund. And for me, that made it very clear to me, you know, what it means to give back. The fact that she did it anonymously was extremely impactful to me. So as a young woman especially, I think it's important to start those giving cycles and conversations and habits now. And you don't have to be a billionaire to make that happen.